We add ink based on the color identification on the ink bottle. Pour the ink from the ink bottle onto the machines ink bottle dot k equals black, c equals blue, m equals red, y equals yellow, w equals white. After adding ink, we need to move the ink cart to the middle by pressing left. Turn off the main power and let the ink truck stay in the middle. There will be one screw on both sides of the protective cover on the ink truck. We need to temporarily dismantle it. After the screws are removed, we can remove the ink car protective cover. Now proceed to extract the ink from the ink cartridge, extract all the air in the pipeline, and then extract 5 ml of ink. Please note that when holding ink bags, we should hold both sides of the ink bags, and avoid squeezing the middle. The extracted ink cannot be reused. Please treat it as waste ink. After extracting 5 ml ink, we will insert the ink cartridge into its original position, and prohibit pulling out all ink cartridges at once. When extracting the next ink cartridge, Please pay attention to cleaning the orange syringe, with a tissue or dust-free cloth. Now use the same method to extract the next ink bag. Due to time constraints, I will only demonstrate extracting two ink bags. You need to strictly extract 510 ml of ink from all ink cartridges and insert each ink cartridge into its original position thank you. Now that we have extracted the ink bags, we need to power them on, and start them up. The machine will have three waste ink pipes, namely the waste ink pipe for the color printing head, and the waste ink pipe for the white printing head, as well as one waste ink pipe for the printer ink station. We need to strictly extract 510 ml of waste ink from white and colored. Waste ink pipes. Let's go to the software to automatically clean the print head. Automatically clean all print heads on the software. During the cleaning process, the printer control icon is dimmed, and will be restored after cleaning is completed. After cleaning the print head, we will print the nozzle status diagram, and press the test button on the control panel to proceed. After receiving this command, the machine will print a status map of the print head. After printing is completed, the ink truck will return to the original point for resetting. Now let's take a closer look at the status diagram. Please send the printed status diagram to the technical personnel, for viewing to see if it is qualified thank you. This is a close up of the print head status chart. When we look at the status chart, we make a judgment based on its line chart situation. The standard good state is that the line chart has no broken needles or cross colors. The status chart is the inkjet report of the print head, and we must maintain a daily status report to pay attention to the ink output status of the print head. Thank you for watching. See you next class.